to the sanctuary of the Victory Center, the Caribbean's first virtual church. Tonight marks the second night of our first ever Internet Crusade, hosted by Dare to be Different International. We are humbled to be celebrating four years of ministry, and we are delighted to have you joining us all across the world on the Internet tonight. We want to increase our viewership right around now, and we need your help. We're going to ask you to get your technological devices in action. You're probably in front of the computer and you have your Facebook account open. You have your MySpace or Twitter account open or some other social network. I'm going to ask you to post on your wall right now the very same website that you're on. That's www.thevictorycenter.com. You probably have your Blackberry or iPhone in your hand. I'm going to ask you to send out a broadcast to everybody on your list right around now. Tell them tonight is their night to be fully ready for their financial breakthrough. It's a special night in the life of every single viewer, my friend, simply because we believe that God is going to do something miraculous again. You cannot be half ready for what God is going to do tonight. You cannot have your pants down and be half ready. You have to be fully ready for God to move through your life financially tonight. We want to thank you once more for joining us right here on the Victory Center. Stay tuned for a blessing like no other.
for he is never to beat me to hear their request. Tonight you pass because you love God, simply because you're tired, you're worn, and you don't know where else to turn and what else to do with regards to your finances. I want to tell you tonight, friend, that you're in the right spot for a breakthrough. Don't you change that diet.
grace to come. So somebody got to stand up and join and rejoice. I want my grace to do you want your grace to lay this smile. Do you want your grace to minister them up? I want mine and I know you want yours. So everything declare it is going to be all right.
verses for this week's Kuse uh, title, Don't be caught with your pants down. You can't be half ready. And we got our theme from the book of Matthew chapter 24 verses 42 to 44. And it reads, Watch therefore, for ye know not what your hour, your Lord does come. But know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore, be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. And we believe in tonight, my friend, that you have to be fully ready. You have to be always ready, of course, for the coming of God. But you also have to be ready whenever you need your healing. You have to be ready when you want a deliverance. You have to be ready when you need a breakthrough. And somebody tonight will change in your mindset. Will change in your thought life from being half ready to being fully ready. And I'm saying to you, listening friend, that if you are around a set of people who are doubting, they are around a set of people who are laughing and saying, this is just another crusade. If you are around a set of people who are saying, listen, I've been hearing that time and time and time again. If you are around a set of people who are saying, preachers are always talking about money. I want you to do something tonight. You I want you to just look them straight I command you to shut up tonight and let God have his way. You're probably listening to me in Chile. You're probably listening to me in Spain. And you don't know how to say it properly in English. But tell them in Spanish. Tell them in Hebrew. Tell them in Dutch. Tell them in Sweden. Tell them in Latvian that they need to excuse you tonight because nothing is stopping you from receiving your financial breakthrough tonight. Encourage a friend, a family member, a co-worker, call them up. It's not too late to tell somebody to log on. This is what Dare to be Different is all about. Making a global impact. When we were founded some four years ago in 2008, one of our key mandates was to use the technology to spread the gospel all across the world. Brother Lemmers here was recalling just the other day about our first, first ever crusade at the Greenland Park there in St. Kitts. And I can remember him discussing with us, my friend, just how we use the technology at that first crusade. And for those of you who are watching from the Dare to Be Different website, later on you could go right back on that website and click on Freedom Fest and you could see the five nights of that crusade. And we use the technology there. We installed telephone, a telephone line underneath the tent and we had callers from all across the globe. What touched my heart, my friend? A radio station, that TVN's radio station in Nevis, West Indies, was pulling that service for us live back in 2008. And a prison warden allowed an inmate to call into our crusade service. And man, that was one of the most powerful experiences we had right there. You're saying to me tonight, preacher, how can I call? Right after this service, I'm going to encourage you, my friend, to take up your telephone lines and call our prayer line. In the Caribbean, it's 869-765-7270. Again, 869-765-7270. If you're listening us from across the United States or across the world, our international prayer line is Write it down. 1-954-228-0165. And our network is set up to route every single call back to us right here in St. Kitts. I actually just took up my Blackberry and I, I, I was saw a little message right on my Blackberry and it's a, it's a viewer right now, my friend, in England. A viewer in England just sent in a message and, and that viewer says, I claim those things in Jesus' name. I don't usually take a 
of our back, very in the middle of a service, but it's a technological service. And so we just had confirmation via my back, very. I can't go through all of the messages, but a confirmation that we have viewers listening up in England. Team isn't that good tonight. Lady smile, just smile for England. I'm looking at our network right now and our most viewers on our ministry's website. The most viewers and followers for this week so far, they come from in this order, the most viewers, the first 10, I'm just going to call them. We have viewers and followers right now from the United States. I'm looking at the live, uh, the, the live information right here, United States. Our second most viewers right now here from the state is the Navy. They hail from Ecuador. Russia, Colombia, Dominica, the United Kingdom, Nigeria, Turkey, and Chile. Those are the folks who know that we are having a crusade and they have come out tonight to join with you from all across the world to receive their financial grace. There is nothing too hard for God to do. We're going to sing this song and when we come back we're going to tell you a little bit more about our history and some of the things that God has been using our ministry. There's a soft worry
of your financial blessing. I want you to know that your heart must be ready. Your mind must be ready. Your soul must be ready. Your spirit must be ready. Your body must be ready. And once you are fully ready, not half ready, the blessing will come pouring in. There's somebody listening to me tonight. And you're listening from the island of Turkey. I want you to know that your blessing will soon come rushing in. Have you ever been down to your lowest? Have you ever wished that the answer will just come and show up immediately? Are you at the point in your life tonight, friend, when you just wish that somebody will knock on your door with a check that will allow you to clear that outstanding debt, tell your neighbor that anything's possible? Oh my, many of us long for a miraculous blessing and breakthrough to take place. In talking with a gentleman, my friend, a few years back, he was happily giving his testimony of how God had showed up and delivered. Let me smile, just tell your neighbor that God can still show up. God can still show up. Oh, glory, oh, glory. I don't know if you're understanding how excited I am tonight, but I want you to know that God Somebody say, I have to put my idea to work. I have to put my idea. Oh my, this 
was one of the simplest ideas to carry out, as God knew that he did not have any capital at all. And Banks wasn't going to look at him twice. It had to be God, he testified. Today, an elderly man, he is a multi-millionaire from the idea that God gave him that day. You're not understanding me tonight, my friend. This was a gentleman who was on the brink, on the verge of committing suicide because he was in financial trouble and he encouraged himself. He was alone and just when he was about to do it, God gave him an idea and he didn't have to go to the bank to carry it out. He said immediately, he left his suicidal thoughts in the corner and he went and he started carrying the idea out. And an elderly man, as he testified, he said, today I'm a multi-millionaire because I depended fully on God and I didn't throw my life away. Don't throw your life away. Somebody needs to get up on their position right now. You would have hid that bottle of poison in a jacket in your clothes closet because you don't want your children to see it. I say to you, don't stay and wait here to hear the rest of this sermon. I'm saying to you, take it right out of that barber, out of that, 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 that pocket in that clothes closet, in that jacket that you have it in. I want you to go and find the nearest drain. Open the bottle and throw it right down the drain and cast the bottle away and say, devil, you are a liar. I'm fully ready to receive my financial breakthrough tonight. I want you to know you're listening to me from across the world and you're listening to me right here in my homeland, St. Kitts. Tonight, God is going to give you an idea to this sermon, an idea to this service, an idea while you're sitting down there. I want you to know that as soon as you get the idea, do not tell it to anyone, but begin to carry it out tomorrow. Somebody say tomorrow. Tomorrow. Somebody say tomorrow. Tomorrow. I want to just uh, edge off a bit from what I'm speaking about. I want to edge off a bit. But the Bible reminds us that weeping may endure for the night. So my, somebody say the night. The night. Somebody shout the night. The night. Oh my, weeping may endure for the night. But something happens in the morning. You're crying right now. And you're worried right now. You're laid back right now. And you're depressed right now. And you're crying right now. But I know a lady from the church that I grew up in. And she used to sing weeping May. Endure for the night. But joy cometh in the morning. Oh glory, hallelujah.
in her house, God gave the man of God, Elisha, some instructions for this lady. Tell your neighbor, if you want God to bless you, you've got to follow his instructions. And Bible history tells us that because she followed the man of God's instructions in the book of 2 Kings 4 and verse 6, she was able to fill up all the containers. Tell your neighbor, fill it up. Fill it up. Come on, you're sitting next to your child right now. Tell them God is going to fill up our containers. You're sitting right next to your husband or your wife, and you don't know how you're going to make it to the next day. Just begin to declare an overflow. The Bible reminds us that we are to speak those things that are not as though they were. And so I want you to say so tonight in your Russian language. I want you to say so tonight as you speak Turkish. I want you to say so tonight in your Dominican dialect. I want you to say so tonight whatever language you speak in Colombia. I want you to say so tonight in your Chilean tongue that God is going to bless me. God is going to bless me. Don't worry, my friend. God is sending an overflow your way, not tomorrow, but tonight. And so, history tells us that this Shunammite woman, she followed the man of God's instructions. She poured in the oil. She was able to sell the oil and pay her debt. And the man of God said, listen, take whatever is left and go and live off of it. I want you to know tonight as you listen across the United States of America, God isn't just going to bless you to take care of what needs to be taken care of right now. God is going to bless you with an overflow. So you're probably just wishing that God provides the money for next year, next semester's tuition. God isn't just going to provide the money for next semester's tuition, but he's going to provide something extra. He's going to provide the money for the rent and provide the money for food. And he's going to provide a little extra for some entertainment. All you have to do is to be fully ready and believe with all your heart that God can do it again. Certainly her blessings came pouring in. The very same thing can happen to you only if you believe. Have some faith, listening friends. Hope is ahead. You have probably been in your challenging situation for a while. God is telling you to listen to him as he speaks to your spirit tonight. Like the now successful businessman we spoke about at the beginning of our sermon tonight. He wants you to listen and act immediately. Put that idea or dream to work. I can't close tonight's internet crusade without speaking into the eyes and into the heart of people out there listening to me all across the globe. And God has blessed you with talent. I'm speaking right now to a good cook. I'm speaking right now to somebody who is very, very good at craft. I'm speaking right now to a carpenter. I'm speaking right now to a mason. I'm speaking right now to a musician. I'm speaking right now to somebody who is blessed with the ability to speak. I'm speaking right now, my friend, with so to somebody who loves to look after children. I'm speaking right now to a baker. I'm speaking right now to a fisherman. I'm speaking right now to somebody who can clap here. God is saying to you that you ought not to be in that situation that you're in. Get up off your laurels. Stop laying in your bed day after day. Stop lazing around in your chair night after night and morning after morning get up and put the talent or talents that God would have given you to work. You may not like what I'm about to say tonight, friend. You just like an exciting gospel. But God just told me to tell somebody that you will only get out once you begin to use what you have. 
the Shunammite woman only got out of her financial difficulty because she used what she had. Your talent is just what you have tonight. I'll tell you this. Very early up in my ministry, years upon years ago, I was just starting ministry and business. And God told me to tell somebody, listen, you have a very, very good business idea, but you are only able to go and expand that business idea if you get a website. That is how the entire world will know about you. The person hesitated a bit. And a couple of months after they sent me an email and they said, I want this website and I want you to build it for me. That was one of the first websites that I ever built. I want you to know, listening friends, tonight, that person used the God-given gift, the God-given talent that he bestowed on their life several years after. The person called me on the phone and they said, Christoph, I want you to know that the house that I live in today, I built it out of that website that you would have built for me and using the God-given talent that God gave to me. A house from a website. A house from their talent. And to add it all a little more, the person explicitly told me that I never went to the bank. I never took out a mortgage to build the house. Sometime after, I have a privilege to go and see the house for myself. It ain't no small house, friend. That person received their cinnamon blessing because God, because they used the God-given talent that was bestowed on their life. You're going to make it. You're going to get through. Tonight your faith is turned up to all. Tonight I believe as you listen that you're not in a halfway state anymore, but you're excited because you want your morning to be much more exciting than your evening is right now. I touched my laptop to make sure I still have a connection in the United States, to ensure that I still have a connection in Satan's Navy, and in Russia, in Colombia, and in Dominica. You're watching me right now and you see me look down at my laptop and checking to see that connection in Chile and Turkey and Nigeria. I'm still checking to see that connection in the United Kingdom. And I'm massive following and listenership right here in my very own St. Kitts Navis. Forgive me if I didn't call your country. The network is only showing the top 10 viewers. But if you're listening to me from wherever you're listening and viewing me from all across the world, you're probably listening to me from the benches in your church that has this service up on their big screens. You're probably wishing that you could see what is happening here tonight, but you can't see because the radio station is just playing it for you. But we are on www.thevictorycenter.com tonight, and I decree and I declare that tonight you are out, that tonight approval is granted, that tonight your deliverance has come, that tonight you will Start rejoicing that tonight God is giving you a fresh idea that you will begin to put in place not next week but this week. I decree and I declare an overflow over your life. I decree and I declare that from tonight you are a lender and not a borrower. I decree and I declare tonight that debt collectors will begin to work with you. I decree and I declare tonight that your saucer, somebody says saucer, your saucer is filled and overflowing. Why am I using that saucer? It's simply because I'm reminded of a singer from Tomato Center. I'm drinking, sister smiles, I'm drinking. What does it say? I'm drinking from my saucer simply because.
be don't have a wooden altar to come to the front. But I'm going to ask you to do something tonight in faith. Mommy God sees your tears right there in the United States of America. Daddy God feels your pain right there in Russia. Family member, God knows that right here in Sakin, as you look at us tonight, God knows that your cupboard is empty. I'm going to ask you to do something in faith as I prepare to close for tonight. The Bible says that you are to give and it shall return to you. We're not asking you for anything at all tonight. We don't want your money. I'm going to ask you to do something in faith in order to activate that release and activate that overflow. If you're listening to me right now, wherever you are across the world, I want as you lay in your bed tonight and have a wonderful night's rest, think about somebody, somebody who you feel is in need. Pray and ask God to reveal somebody in your spirit tonight. And I want you to do something. Take something for them. Whether it's a tin of milk, or a sandwich because you work next to people on your job. You feel that they're making it, but they're actually hungry. They come to work with nothing. They sent their children to work to school. And they gave them all they had and they sacrificed and they came to work with nothing. Give and it shall return to you. That tin of milk. You have two macaroni uh, boxes in your cupboard. You have a 10 pound pack of rice in your cupboard. You're expecting a barrel right now in Colombia. The Bible reminds us that once we give, we shall get back. You're fully ready for God to pour out to your life. But that final act of activation is to give. Bless somebody tonight. I'm led right now, I don't know why we're prolonging this, but somebody right now, you're hurting and you're worrying and you're wondering how you're going to make it through. And you really don't have much in your cupboard. And you think that you're down to your life. But there is somebody four houses away from you. Not three, not two. But four houses away from you. You need to prepare something for them to eat tonight. I don't care how late it is. Prepare something for them to eat. And say inside, good night. Wrap on their door and tell them, God just sent this for you. After you do that, somebody say after. After. Come on, music minister, just sing after. After. After you do after. that. After you give. After you bless. After you remember. God is going to remember you. When we come back, we are going to pray for you. We are going to pray with you. We thank you for joining us tonight. But we can't leave this service without praying for you because your morning will be much different to your night tonight. Look out for your best. Leave me, Lord.
bad. When the vessel was word for it, that she said unto her son, Bring me yet another vessel. And he said unto her in 2 Kings 4, 6, There is not a vessel more. And the oil stayed. You're going to be asking people around to help you to contain the blessing and the overflow and the outpouring of God's love on your life. But you won't be able to contain it. There won't be room enough to contain it. The blessings will come pouring in. But you have to be fully ready for your financial breath. Set your hands towards listeners and viewers all across the world. If you are listening via radio somewhere, we want you to know that our hands are outstretched towards you. If you're watching us on the computer, you're watching us on your church screen somewhere across the world. We want you to know that our hands are outstretched towards you. And we want you to know that God answers prayer. Once you ask God to show up for you, and once you believe, all you have to do is believe, be fully ready, and it will be yours. You're sitting next to somebody, you're standing next to somebody, you're kneeling right now. God is seeing your tears right now because he knows that you need it and he knows what is about to happen tomorrow. Maybe say tomorrow. tomorrow. Say tomorrow. tomorrow. Point to somebody's screen and tell them tomorrow. 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 Your blessing is coming tomorrow. Not next week, but when? Tomorrow. Not next year, but when? Tomorrow. Oh, not next. Not next 10 years, but when? Tomorrow. Oh, glory. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you right now that your word says in the book of John 15 and verse 7 that if you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be given you. And so tonight, dear God, as we dedicated this internet crusade tonight, towards persons in need of a financial grace, in need of a financial blessing. As we dedicated it and we came in full faith tonight, believing that you are still the same God of yesterday that can work miracles today. We call financial deliverances into being. Deal with debt tonight. Deal and approve loans tonight. Father, we pray right now for that idea or ideas that you are just raining down on people all across the world. We thank you, dear God, that you are preparing the fingers of that new hairdresser. You are preparing the hands, dear God, of that person who will open their daycare center or their little preschool, not because they want to make money, but because of their love for children. We thank you for that person, dear God, who is going to start using the shells this month in order to make life. We thank you for that person who is going to, dear God, use their talent and their creativity in their country and use it to make some sort of cultural product that will cause their overflow. We thank you, dear God, for that person who has gotten up out of their bed and they're in the kitchen preparing some tuna sandwiches. They're in the kitchen and they're, they're cooking a little pot of macaroni and beef. We thank you for that person as they prepare their crying because you told them to do it a long time ago. And they feel down and guilty because they took a preacher from the Caribbean to come and tell them that they need to give in order to get. We thank you, dear God, for working out and dealing with that tuition problem. We thank you that that person who came from college because they didn't have it to pay, mommy and daddy didn't have it to pay, that you are working things out for them tonight. Father, I open my eyes. Ladies, might open your eyes and look into the camera. 
because I'm looking and I'm speaking to somebody tonight who is going to have a new morning tomorrow morning. The cares that you were carrying today and this week and last week and last month and last five years, you will carry them no more from tomorrow. Joseph was locked up in prison for a lot of years. But one day, God sent him his deliverance and things were never the same again. Daniel had to overnight in the lion's den. But in the morning, things changed. Paul and Silas, they were locked up in prison. But there was a praying church that was praying for them. And in the morning, things changed. In the morning things will change for you. We never like to close a broadcast without giving you the opportunity to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of your life. Wherever you are across the world, the Bible says that all you have to do is to confess that you are a sinner. Believe that Jesus Christ came to the earth, died on the cross just for you, and invite him to come and live in your heart and wash away all your sins. It's that simple, as simple as ABC. When you do that tonight, wherever you are, you're in church, not because you're, you're not dressed up in a shirt and tie, and you don't have all your best earrings and your best weave. In the stillness of this moment, God calls you into a covenant relationship with Him. If you remain in me, and if my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be given you. Are you living a life for Jesus tonight? So I'm here today. from all across the world. Many persons who are listening across the world and they're connected to us via Blackberry. They get to talk with us. They get to claim the blessings. They get to receive it. If you want to join our Blackberry network tonight, that BB pin is 22-0067-D8. 22-0067-D8. I wish I could share with you some of the messages that we've been getting into our ministry already. Blessing God and persons have been claiming and receiving their miracles and their breakthroughs. We're waiting on your phone call tonight. The number to call here in the Caribbean, that's 869-765-7270. If you're listening to us from across the world, that number to call is one nine five four. 228-0165 If you've been blessed by our ministry and you want to partner with us, we invite you to write to us or U.S. mailing address, Dare to be Different International, in care of Christmas Wallace, 2221 Northeast 164th Street, Suite 304. North Miami Beach, Florida, 33160, USA. If you're listening to us from in the Caribbean and you want to write with us and partner with us, that address to write to, Dare to be Different International, P.O. Box 2310, Bastyr, St. Kitts. If you're on the computer, send us an email from you, that website that you're on. Or send me an email direct to our Blackberry. That's information at kwforchrist.com Because you were fully ready tonight to receive your financial breakthrough. Ain't no holding back now. God is going to cause you to have a new morning. A joyful morning. Your best is yet to come. Yes.
Your best is yet to come. Your best. 